Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can download and install IntelliJ IDEA IDE on your Windows 8 or Windows 10 operating system. IntelliJ IDEA IDE is a Java based IDE which is used for creating Java based projects. IntelliJ IDEA IDE is created by JetBrains which is also a company behind uh, Android Studio which is a you know main IDE for creating Android apps it's also a company behind the PyCharm which is the you know very good IDE for creating Python projects so IntelliJ IDEA IDE is one of the topmost IDEs for creating Java based project so let's see how we can uh, download and install uh, this IDE so first of all uh, open your favorite browser and search for IntelliJ IDEA the Java IDE. So the first link which you can see here is from jetbrains.com slash idea. So just click this link and in here you will be able to see this download button. But before downloading IntelliJ IDEA make sure that you have Java JDK installed on your system because uh, we are going to use IntelliJ IDEA for developing Java. So it's uh, you know required that Java is already installed on your system so please make sure that Java is already uh, installed and then click this button which says download and it's going to uh, you know guide you to this uh, interface which says community or ultimate so there are two version of IntelliJ idea available one is community version which is free to use but it's uh, limited and one is ultimate version which is not free to use but it has more features uh, in it okay so you can see the list of features there are more features in the ultimate version but in the community version we have lesser features but for now we just want to use this uh, you know IntelliJ IDEA IDE for developing Java so we are going to use this community version which is free right so just choose uh, the exe file for windows and then click download and once you click download it's going to start downloading this file so you can see this intellij idea or idlc 2016 1.1 exe so just save this file now it's around uh, you can see it's around 250 megabyte uh, file so it's going to take few minutes to download so please uh, wait for the download to complete and once it's downloaded then we are going to see how we can uh, install IntelliJ IDEA and also we are going to see how we can create our first Java project in IntelliJ IDEA. So now our executable file is downloaded so I'm going to just click this executable file and I'm going to minimize my browser and I will wait for uh, the setup to start so just click yes and then the setup for the IntelliJ IDEA will start so in here we just need to click next and the location where it will be installed is this uh, folder which is C program file so x86 JetBrains right so if you want to change it you can browse for the folder where you want to install but I will leave it as default and click next and in here you can see it's going to ask whether uh, you want to create the shortcut for it so I will say yes and once again also it's going to uh, ask me for creating the association for .java file and .groovy file this I will uh, not check because I don't want this association so just click next and in here you can see it's going to install uh, JetBrains so just click install here okay so the installation will not take much time so just uh, wait for a few seconds and then installation will be complete okay so now the installation for IntelliJ IDEA IDE is complete so we can uh, just click this finish button but before uh, clicking this finish button uh, make sure that you check this checkbox which says run IntelliJ IDEA it's going to run it when you click the finish button so I'm going to just click finish and it's going to launch the IntelliJ IDEA for us 
now for the first time when you uh, you know start this ide it's going to ask you whether you want to import your settings from the previous version of intellij idea so i don't have any previous version of intellij idea so i'm going to just choose i do not have previous version right and then i will click okay and now it's going to start the intellij idea ide now in here you just need to read these terms conditions and then if you accept these condition just click accept and then wait for uh, the IDE to uh, you know start now in here you have two options one is uh, IntelliJ theme which is this uh, light version of theme and other is Darkula theme which is the darker version of uh, you know IntelliJ idea so what I like generally is this IntelliJ theme but if you like dark themes something like this you can choose this option also okay so I'm going to choose this default one and then I'm going to click next and in here you have uh, this tune idea to your tasks so I'm going to uh, just leave it as default for now and I'm going to just uh, click next here and once again I'm going to just click next here okay so now it's going to start IntelliJ IDEA 2016 at the time of making this video this edition is the latest version right so let's wait for uh, the IDE to start so now our IDE has been started and it's going to ask us to create a project or import a project or open some project. So let's create a Java project. So I'm going to just click create new project and in here you will be able to see on the left hand side there are many categories like Java, JavaFX, Android and uh, Maven, Groovy and other uh, you know type of project you can create from here. But the one we want is the Java project so just choose the first option here and in here it will ask you for the project SDK so by default there is no SDK selected so we need to you know give the path of our JDK folder okay so just uh, click new button here so click new and then uh, click JDK here and then you need to just browse wherever your uh, you know java jdk folder is located so i will uh, browse for my java jdk folder which is in my program files and in the program files i have this java folder and the java folder i have this jdk folder okay so remember i told you you need to have java jdk installed before uh, you know installing this so just browse for this jdk folder and click ok and once you click ok now you can click next and then click next and here you just need to give the name to your project for example my first project and then click finish and it's going to create a new java project for you and then we will be able to create our uh, you know source files inside the project for the first time it's going to ask you tip of the day so it's going to uh, give you tip of the day every day whenever you start IntelliJ so just click close and then it's going to you know start your project now in here you can see uh, my project is created my first project and then you just need to double click here in order to see uh, this project on the left side uh, bar here right so double click on it and you will be able to see this kind of uh, project explorer here right so we will expand this and in here you can see the source folder right now there is no file inside this source folder but we can uh, you know create one file inside the source folder so let's create a java file so right click on it and then we are going to create a new java class here and we will uh, name our uh, Java class as for example app and then click OK so this is going to create a new Java class for you which is app 
now you can see the font here looks a little bit smaller so to change the font size what you can do here is you can go to files here and then go to settings and in the settings just search for font here okay so just search for a font and now you can see here the font uh, here is this one so just choose this option which says font and in here we can make our uh, you know own uh, font and style so we can just copy the default fonts and we are going to save it as our own font so just click the save as button and uh, we are going to just rename it for example my font okay so it's going to create a copy for you for this font and then we can play with the font right so you can see there is a default font and now you have your my font which you have created right so now you can increase the font for example i want 20 size font and i will apply and i will click ok and once you click ok then your font size will be bigger right now in here i want to create a main method so how do i do it so to create a main method i just need to just write p s v m which is the short form of public static void main and then click tab button and it's going to create the main method for you right similarly to print something you just need to write s out and just press tab button and it's going to create this uh, system out dot print line uh, you know code for you and in here you can uh, just uh, you know write hello world for example so i will just write hello world and then save your program and let's uh, run it so first of all i'm going to right click it and then i'm going to just click run app dot main okay so just click this green button which says run app dot main and then it's going to build your uh, you know program and once it's built it's going to show the output which is hello world so for the first time it's going to show you this kind of uh, security alert you just need to click allow access and uh, you can see the output is printed here hello world right now after uh, compiling it for the first time you will be able to see this uh, run button here on the top left corner so now you can uh, run it from here so for example you can just edit your hello world message something like this and then save it and then click this green button and it's going to compile it again and it's going to print this output again okay so in this way you can uh, download and install intellij idea ide on your windows 8 or windows 10 operating system i hope you have enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now